Hello, this is Namrita from Film Sports. Today we are here with one of the best oncologists of India. His name is Dr. Bowman Thabal. We are going to receive a lot of information regarding the cancer. What is cancer? Cancer is an uncontrolled growth of cells. Cell growth occurs in all of us. But when it's an uncontrolled growth, it leads to cancer. And slowly as these cells divide, they try to go to other parts of the body which we call as metastasis. So as a medical oncologist, most of the time when we treat, we treat a patient who has locally advanced disease or after surgery when we give treatment, that is called as adjuvant treatment and when there is a metastasis, generally what we give is systemic therapy. Now what are the different parts of systemic therapy that we deal with as a medical oncologist? The systemic therapy is one, our age old friend, chemotherapy. Second, now what we have are in different type of cancers, what we have hormonal therapy. Hormonal therapy is one of the most success stories of hormonal therapy is in breast cancer. Of course, in prostate cancer also hormonal therapy works. Third form of therapy is a targeted therapy. And fourth is what we call as immunological therapy. There have been somewhere vaccines also which have been used which comes in a part of immunotherapy. So let us touch first upon targeted therapy. Target therapy means where the cancer cells are there, our drugs work there. So it's a target that we are killing. So first of the time, most of the time what we have to do is to identify the target. If we identify the target, we can use target therapy much better. So the target therapy, there have been a lot of advances in target therapy now, and especially in lung cancer, where we have identified so many different targets. And mind you, most of these target therapies are tablets. And so many patients of advanced lung cancer with target therapy, we have made lung cancer into a chronic disease, like diabetes or say blood pressure, where patient just goes on taking tablets and goes on and on. Even with brain metastasis, we have seen patients doing so well. Coming to the next part of the therapy, which I told you was immunotherapy. Now, what is this immunotherapy? Immunotherapy is those type of treatment where your whole body's immune system is changed. So, immune system fights with the cancer. And, and, and mind you, what we have seen, approximately, I would say, in an advanced disease, 20-30% of the patient, when they respond to immunotherapy, and if you have selected the right patient for immunotherapy, they survive for months and months together. And mind you, immunotherapy has very much less or I would say very few side effects than what chemotherapy has. It is a very well tolerated treatment. At present, of course, we have challenges of immunotherapy. The main challenge being the cost of the treatment. It's quite expensive. But I'm sure the cost will come down as we start on using it much more and more. The target therapy also used to be once upon a time very expensive. But we have now drugs. We have the, the generics here and fortunately the, the cost has come down significantly for targeted therapy. Cancer as we know is a treatable disease and if detected early it's a curable disease. How do we detect this disease early? Well, we have to catch this disease in a very early stage. So I would request all of the society and all, the, all our people here that to take part in screening programs. Screening programs have been useful to some extent in breast cancer, cervical cancer, they say in colorectal cancer. So be very, take active participation in screening programs. There are guidelines for those screening tests to be done. For breast, we have got mammography, mammosonography, what we call as, it's a combined test that we do. MRI of the breast is done for those patients who have a hereditary form of breast cancer. So take active participation in that. Cervical. For cervical cancer, we have got pap smear and we have got other DNA tests. So, so, and there are recommendations for that which we should follow. And by screening, what we mean that it is done in a normal person who has not got a cancer. So, this screening program is for all of us. There are other things that are also important for so-called prevention of cancer. Nobody knows the exact cause of cancer. But whatever we know, are there are some... Uh, tips which all of us know, avoid weight gain, keep a proper body mass index, take part in exercises, it is recommended some good healthy exercise around 30 minutes in a day is worth it if you can do and of course no tobacco, no alcohol and uh, good food habits, lot of legumes, avoid red meat and processed foods.